No Devolution, the new Thursday record, I was uh, using a CNC kit, uh, a 26-inch bass drum, 14-inch rack, 16-inch floor, and a 14 by 8-inch uh, uh, snare drum, and I was using all K light ride cymbals. Uh, 24-inch uh, K light ride as my main, you know, kind of washy ride. Then a 22-inch light ride um, on my right side crash. And on my left, I had a 22-inch uh, as well, but it had rivets in it. And then 16-inch uh, K light hats. I there's really no difference in my live uh, versus my studio kit. I, I try to keep everything the same because it's. It's just what I'm comfortable playing on. You know what I mean? Like the, the, from the cymbals to the hardware to the kick pedal to the, you know to the drums, everything is relatively the same because that's what I feel like I perform best on is is my stuff the way that I like it. So I try not to just change it up too much. I picked the K Light Rides because I think they're the the best sounding cymbal. You can you can beat the crap out of them and it doesn't like drown out anything. It's not like they're not super loud. They're nice and soft, so they feel really good to hit, and they just—I just think they sound great. You know, they have great sustain. It's just the, the thing that I need. You know, it's the everything I want in one symbol. So, there's a couple of song, uh, songs on uh, No Devolution that I'm really psyched about on the drums. It's, there's a song called uh, "Magnets Caught in a Metal Heart," that's got a you know a cool kind of like, well, I think it's cool, a cool uh, drum intro to it, and it's just a really kind of linear song. And there's a lot, a lot of stuff, a lot of changes going on drum-wise in it. Um, but it's all in the same, you know, kind of same vein, which I really enjoyed. And then there's a song called No Answers, which is more of kind of a, you know, it's an interesting song for us because there's like time changes and, and uh, it's it's just a lot of fun to play on drums. Uh, yeah, and then there's another song uh, that we do. Uh, there's a drum sample behind it, like an electronic sample, and it's kind of just meshes together with the regular drums, which is its just a lot of fun to, to listen to. I can't wait to start playing it live, because I think we're going to get a bunch of other drums on stage and have other people do some stuff, so it should be a lot of fun. I mean, I think the biggest difference between the last CD and the new CD is just uh, we didn't have a lot of time to write, because we have a bunch of people living in different states, um, and it kind of just, it was like your first best guess, and for me, that's kind of... My favorite thing about playing the drums, it's like whatever I hear first, usually is what I will go back to after trying to, you know, figure out something, you know, different for a part. I'll usually go back to my first best guess. So this whole record was everything first best guess. And going from your gut like that and kind of that spontaneity of everything and and uh, just kind of winging it gives it that energy, that kind of youthful uh, energy, I think, that... that it's hard to capture when you're when you're, you're constantly like, you know, stressing over every little note or every little beat. You know, it's it's for me. It, it I mean, I love that part of it too. But at the same time, it's also nice to be like, this is what it is. It has to be this because this is what we're going for. Done. Yeah, we're gonna do probably like a short uh, midwestern headliner towards the end of the year, and then do a bunch of holiday shows. So, the rest of the year is pretty much booked, which is which is a good thing.